Anhedonia would be a lovely name for a variety of flower traditionally used when making any bouquet you forget to give or never receive. And I shall make a spell of it for Lacretha, someone I have reason to believe would absolutely trounce me in a handstand competition, even though I intend to cheat by wearing my clothes upside down. The word is Anhedonia. It is spelled A N. H-E-D-O-N-I-A. Hedons since Gilgamesh have said, Fill your belly, day and night, make merry. These, These things alone are the concerns of life. So that's hedonism. The belief that life is purely about pleasure, and it's a tough sell to someone who can't feel pleasure. Someone who's anhedonic, with full-blown anhedonia. An anhedonical anhedoniac, such as myself. See, when nothing feels good because your feel-gooders busted, there's really nothing to be done with your time but spend it avoiding pain. And that's a dreary thing to steer you. A shit star to sail by, just avoiding pain. Because, of course, it can't be avoided. So you fail and you fail, and it accumulates, builds up drop by drop, into a big metal pail hung from your lungs, down into your belly and below, heavier and heavier as you go. Feeling good is a reason to go on, and I tell you, reasons to live die hard. When you let go of one to reach for another, there's a moment when you're weightless, just before the drop, and it's a taste of eternity alone with a toothache, an abscess, an absence, a cavity, a nothing that hurts. The working title of the movie, Annie Hall, was Anhedonia, and I think that's a perfect name for a failed romance. Also, good for a fearful ancient goddess, or a dark, accursed land. Lo, I've been to Anhedonia, home of those there's just no pleasing. It's all valleys there, no hills, always autumn time, no seasons. My heart was broke and my blood still pumped, but there, there was no reason. Can't recommend. Zero stars out of ten. And I swear to you now, I won't go back there no how till I find myself there again. Give me your word. I spell 